Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As we all know, due to changes in the external environment, since September 2019, foundry companies such as TSMC and Samsung have been unable to freely ship to Huawei. The operation mode of the global semiconductor industry chain has been broken and more and more countries have begun to develop their own semiconductor industries. The lithography machine is the core equipment for manufacturing chips. At present, the domestic level in China can only be maintained at the 90 nanometers level, but the 14 nanometers process mass production can be achieved by using the lithography machine imported from overseas. In fact, ASML has monopolized the world's mid to high end lithography equipment market. Even TSMC is highly dependent on it, let alone SMIC. The development of China's semiconductor industry has made the United States feel unprecedented pressure. TSMC, ASML, etc. The two top companies have gradually become pawns. In order to block China's 14 nanometers process, the United States is putting pressure on Japan and the Netherlands to follow the latest equipment export rules. Obviously, it wants to cut off the supply of DUV lithography machines. The progress of the latest agreement between the three parties has been made public. How should ASML respond? Are you going to be forced to participate in the supply cutoff plan? ASML fell into a passive situation. ASML has always disagreed with the United States' behavior of restricting the market by upgrading chip rules. It has repeatedly asked for free shipments, but it has not played any role. Fortunately, it has unique technology, which has preserved the company well. Itself. There is also a reason for the atmosphere of ASML. The lithography machine itself is a monopoly business, and the pricing power is in its own hands. But if you want to earn more money, you need to ensure the quantity. After the supply chain is interrupted, high-end lithography machines will be launched. The goods are limited and can only be maintained by relying on the low end. Now that the United States wants to restrict the export of DUV lithography machines, it is facing the huge demand of the Chinese market behind it. This is undoubtedly breaking the way for ASML. Rules to safeguard their own rights. Under constant pressure, the three parties conducted a final discussion. According to the news from the end of January, Japan, the Netherlands, and the United States have reached an agreement including, but not limited, to the relevant aspects of the lithography machine system. According to the statement, the entire agreement is still being further refined, and it will take some time to wait for it to come into effect. The key point is that it also mentioned, it will not affect ASML's performance in 2023. This sentence is a bit intriguing. Judging from the existing news, the final direction cannot be determined but the result of the three-party discussion must be towards the DUV lithography machine, and the agreement is likely to be based on this level. As for the impact on ASML, maybe only the official announcement of the agreement can be obtained. SMIC has remedial measures. After the downward market changes, the sales of high-end chips will decline, and the production capacity of advanced technology will inevitably stagnate. The sales of EUV lithography machines will definitely be affected. 
If ASML wants to guarantee its revenue, it can only hope that it can only rely on DUV photolithography. The engraving machine is on, and the Chinese market will become the key. In the case of a slowdown in chip regulations, ASML immediately signed a 1.1 billion US dollar equipment order contract with SMIC. This is a good start for fully entering the Chinese market. As long as it can be delivered on schedule, it can form a certain word of mouth effect. In order to prevent emergencies, SMIC has long been prepared. With global manufacturers synchronously reducing capital expenditures, SMIC has instead increased its expenditure in 2022 from the original 5 billion US dollars to 6.6 .6 billion US dollars. And this part of the extra funds is to purchase more lithography equipment and pay the deposit in advance which effectively lengthens the time of the lithography machine purchase agreement, further prolongs the delivery period of ASML, and prepares for the possible existence of subsequent DUV lithography machines. Fully prepare for the risk of supply cuts. At present, SMIC has begun to change the focus of production capacity, no longer obsessed with the research and development of advanced technology, and has focused on the layout of mature technology such as 28 nanometers. It has gathered 150 billion yuan of funds to expand foundries in Tianjin, Shanghai and other places. The subsequent demand for DUV lithography machines will grow exponentially. In order to cope with this market opportunity, ASML also officially announced that it will achieve an annual production capacity of 600 DUV lithography machines before 2025. This is obviously an effort to fully enter the Chinese market. Prepare. DUV lithography machines can support chip manufacturing around 14 nanometers. The United States is putting pressure on Japan and the Netherlands. The purpose is obviously to block China's 14 nanometers process. If the final agreement is determined to involve DUV lithography machines, SMIC will also be considered as its own. A certain space. An ASML does not mean that it has lost. At present, the development of the US semiconductor industry is in a predicament, and it needs to be highly dependent on the supply of its lithography equipment. It is not good for anyone to completely break up. The main thing is that ASML will still have a chance if it is not overwhelmed. SMIC also reserved a certain amount of time for it. I believe that many people still have concerns about whether ASML will continue to ship lithography machines to China in the future. As the ASML executive said, restricting the supply of high-end chip equipment will only force Chinese companies to speed up research and development in this field develop their own technology and equipment. It will take several years for SMIC's production capacity to ramp up. I believe that at this time point, both the domestic semiconductor industry chain and equipment technology will receive a new round of updates. At that time, it will be able to produce chip products with 28 nanometers and 14 nanometers processes without importing equipment from ASML. The cutoff of DUV lithography machines is something that China does not want to see, but the statement mentioned that it will not affect ASML's revenue in 2023. At least it can show that the lithography machines ordered by SMIC can be in place and wait until the production capacity is fully put into production after that it can meet certain domestic demand. 
It can also give enough breakthrough time for domestic lithography machines. As for the cooperation with ASML, it depends on whether it can stick to its original intention. What do you think about this? Welcome everyone to leave a message and discuss.